I'm your host, William Beam. Welcome to the Photo Funky Show, episode number five. Today, we're going to ask the question, how should photographers respond to a request to work for exposure? Hi, welcome to the Photo Flunky Show. Think about this. Someone wants to use your photo in print. For some photographers, though, that excitement may subside when you hear these words. We really don't have a budget for photos, but being on our page will give you a great exposure. And your heart just sinks. Think exposure. How am I going to pay my bills with exposure? It almost feels like a slap in the face. For some people, if you've never done any work before, you're not interested in being a professional photographer, you're not interested in selling your work, you may still be excited just to see your stuff in print. And if that's the case and you want to do it, it's a personal choice. You can do it. For a lot of other people, though, it just really boils their blood that the idea that you want photos for free, but yet you still have to have the magazine or the website or whatever the agency is pay for everything else they do. Why are photographers singled out? I guess one of the ways to get uh, working photographers really upset is to even talk about the idea of doing unpaid work or an assignment, and all they're going to get is exposure from the client. If it seems insulting, that's because it is. What the client really wants is charity. Now, whether they deserve it or not is up to you, but don't, just don't be tricked by you know, potential exposure without thinking it over. So here's some of the criteria that I think you ought to go through, or ought to go through your head before you decide whether or not you're going to accept or decline their offer. Can they deliver on the promise of exposure? How large is their audience going to be? How prominently will your image be featured? I mean, I mean you got to ask the question, is this going to be on the cover or above the fold? Is this going to be an article heading? Or is it just another photograph that's going in a piece someplace, you know, just buried uh, below the lead? The next question that you really want to come into mind is, how is this going to benefit you? No matter what size they have, is it your market that's going to be reading this? In other words, is there anybody reading this, whether it's something going out to a few thousand people or a few million people, is there anybody reading this that's going to say, oh, William Beam shot this photo. I need to hire him. I need to buy this as a print. I need to give him money out of my pocket. If there's nobody in that audience that they're going to share it with you, the exposure has no value whatsoever. Exposure to an untargeted audience is just absolutely useless. One of the questions that I brought up before that you're going to want to ask them is, are they paying other people who produce the final product? If they can pay a writer, an editor, a publisher, a printer, why can't they pay the photographer? Why is the photography being singled out as something that's not worth being a line item in the budget? My thought is anyone who has an audience that's sufficiently large enough to benefit you also has a budget to pay you. They may be just feeling you out to see, can we save a few bucks here? And then after some negotiation, maybe they will throw something your way. And whether you accept that is, again, you know, up to you. Are you insulted if they try to come out to you for free? I would be. If they come back around and say, okay, well, we've got some budget. Do you need the money that badly? Or is it just a matter of ethics or integrity that they didn't even offer you anything in the first place? That's a personal decision. And not, quite honestly, I understand uh, the people that are going to go with the ethics and integrity part. I also understand the people that are uh, living hand to mouth and need whatever money they can get. I see it as a business decision rather than an emotional decision. Is this a good way to get started? If you've not really been in the business before and you want to get started in the business, you want to go off and show people what you can do? Again, my opinion is no. Unless you're a college intern, I cannot think of a single job that does not pay you for work. The clerk at your grocery store didn't start off working by hoping for exposure to get hired. You know, anybody who's working is getting paid for the work. Photography is a skill. It is a talent. It is an art. It's deserving of money. I'm, I'm just uh, astonished that this concept even comes up, that people want you to just give away what you've got. I think they're preying on people's ignorance of the value of their work. That's why a lot of photographers really get upset because they figure that doing work for free or giving photos away for exposure devalues their work. And it probably does. But honestly, I don't care about that aspect of it. Other photographers have their business. I have mine. What's important is to know your own value. The people who are asking you to work for exposure basically are preying upon your insecurities and your lack of confidence. Does this mean you should never work for free? That answer also, no. It depends upon your values. Working for free and working for exposure are two different things. Let me explain. Working for free is your own choice. You may feel charitable. You may want to do some work for a good cause or because you genuinely want to help someone out or even an organization out. There are needy, needy people and needy organizations in the world and sometimes they genuinely don't have the budget. It would be a nice thing to do. That is your prerogative to decide whether or not 
you want to help them out with your photography skills or an image that they would like to have. That is very different from working for exposure, which implies a promise that can't be met. Whenever someone's telling you, oh, the exposure will be great for you, it's never great. It's never your audience. If you didn't go approach them because you've already researched their audience and you know that you want to get in front of them, working for exposure is just a fool's errand. How are you supposed to respond when someone comes up to you and offers you an opportunity to work for exposure? You may feel insulted, but why burn the bridge? Here's the thing. They may come back around and offer money after you've rejected them. So the best thing to do is be professional. If you don't like an offer, whether it's an amount of money or the fact that they just want to offer you exposure, simply say, no, thank you. If you're willing to do it for personal reasons, then you can say yes, but state your terms of usage. Make sure you place your intentions in writing and the limitations on their usage of the photo, just like any other contract. Even though it's free, doesn't mean they can do whatever they please. Thank you for listening to the Photo Flunky Show. Show notes are available at williambeam.com slash episode five. You can find a transcript of the show there for free. I'm William Beam. If you'd like to stay in touch, it's pretty easy to do. All you have to do is send a text message. Just text the word flunky, F-L-U-N-K-Y, to the number 33444. You'll subscribe to my list. I'll keep you updated on photography and blogging information. There are no extra charges from me, so only your standard messaging rates from your carrier apply. You're going to get a welcome message back from WilliamBeam.com. Once again, thank you very much for checking in with us. We're going to be on iTunes pretty soon. Hope to see you there.